Mark, thoughts on that please? Match you banned after around half an hour or so. Yeah, we, we obviously the, the ground staff have done really well to get the game on in the first place, but with the heavy snowfall, uh, the referees tried to give it a go, but um, unfortunately, just you know the, the snow and the lines wasn't wasn't visible, so you know they were dangerous for the players and obviously um, risk of risk of injury. And we we, we, couldn't, we couldn't take that risk with, with so many games left in the season. I suppose it didn't take a genius to work out that it was probably the, the correct decision. You look behind you and there's, there's snow covering the pitch, you couldn't see the lines and like you said, player welfare, it's, it's all the kind of paramount importance in, in times like this, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, and maybe maybe two games left, it, it might be able to get it playable, but you know, we've, we've obviously, it's so long left in the season and, and you know, it, it was you know, for the players that couldn't see and they couldn't see the referee and the linesman couldn't see the line, so they're obviously going to be more risk for, for error and obviously player welfare, you know, there could be ice on, underfoot, so we couldn't take that risk because of all them factors. How frustrating is it, obviously, a quick turnaround after Saturday, we've done a lot of preparation, presumably for Scunthorpe and, and for us to come here and, you know, start the game the way we did and for it to be abandoned, it must be very kind of frustrating for you and the players. Yeah, we were frustrated, um, the whole, the whole team, the whole camp are uh, frustrated with with obviously being called off. It's twice now we've prepared uh, for Scunthorpe and you know we haven't managed to get the game on and like you say we I thought we did start start the brighter team. We looked looked in control earlier on in the game. Um, but obviously when when the snow started to fall you could see you know errors just starting to for both teams. So you know the the weather was playing a factor but you know we just had to be professional and we're planned for, for Salford now. And after the defeat on Saturday, the, the kind of stress in the press before the game and everything was to do with getting back out here and hopefully putting on a performance, getting straight back out and erasing everything that happened on Saturday, really. It must add to the fr frustration, I guess. Yeah, I think it does. I think, obviously, you know, wasn't able to get the result because the game were cancelled, but I think we showed there early on in the game that that we looked more in control of the game. We looked more like the Bradford City team that, that, that we've been, you know, been fighting for, for results and getting wins and draws. So... You know, hopefully we can build again on that on that you know performance, even though it was only half an hour. But um, yeah, like I say, we, we, we saw good signs um, of, of like us bouncing back. As you say, all eyes on Salford now. Is it a case of taking pretty much everything we took into this game today in terms of the preparation and everything around that into the weekend and, and just extending that that period that we've got to ourselves? I think we could take confidence from today. Um, you know, good moments, like I said, within the game, which we wanted to see. You know, from from us as coaching staff, we saw that in regards to the players taking the information on board. But you know, it's it's, it's totally different kind of set up and more planning to do for Salford because they play different to, to Salford like every team in the league they're all a little bit different so we've got to you know focus on them now